Hey everyone, so I um, am just gonna make a series of videos because this week at Edge, well actually technically last week at Edge, um, we were going to talk about um, Holy Week and all of the different liturgical days in Holy Week that you can come um, to do Mass at, which we're obviously not able to do this year. Um, so I wanted to send out some different things. Each one has, each day has a different activity that you can do with it. Um, so the first day that we're gonna talk about um, is Palm Sunday. And so Palm Sunday um, is really cool. It well, I mean, maybe cool is not the right word. I don't know. But the interesting thing about Palm Sunday is that we go from um, the beginning, we're welcoming Jesus in with palms, right? We have all these palms and we're waving them. Um, and there's like different readings that go along with it each, like as the years go. But um, my favorite week is when, or my favorite year rather, is when we get the reading where we're like celebrating Jesus entering the city, where the people, um, they're, they're laying down their cloaks on the road and the donkeys like walking and Jesus is riding on the donkey and they have palms in the air and they're singing Hosanna, Hosanna, you know, glory to God in the highest rate. Right? They're singing all these things. Um, and that's like the beginning. That's how we, we start, you know, and we we do this, you know, we we start down um, for us, we start down in Pates Hall. If you come to Our Lady of Peace, we start in Pates Hall. And then we have a procession where we go outside, right? And we go um, on the, like up around and go back into the church. And so we have this procession where we're imitating the same thing, where we're um, celebrating the same thing. And we had this priest when I was growing up um, who he talked about how like we, um, as Americans, he was, um, gosh, I can't remember if, where he was from in Africa, maybe Ghana. I can't, sorry, that's awful. I can't remember. Um, but he talked about how like we, um, we don't celebrate in America the way that like they do there. And so he like wanted us to like, you know, be putting our palms in the air and, and, um, with like joyous voices, you know, because that's what was happening in that time, right? Like everyone was rejoicing, um, rejoicing about Jesus being there. Um, and so the interesting thing about it is that we go from having that rejoicing and having that everyone's so excited to have him there um, to then the, the gospel reading on this day is always a reading about um, like Jesus's coming death, right? It's always a reading about his crucifixion, about um, him being betrayed, and um, it's a passion reading. So um, the, the interesting thing about this is how quickly we go from celebrating um, into uh, the crucifixion, right? And so, um, as a kid, I loved, I loved Palm Sunday, right? Because we got something to do. And I'm like a naturally, I am a fiddler. Like I, when I'm taking notes, I like draw in the like margins and, um, I'm just naturally one of those people that like, I really like to fiddle with things. And so, um, having something to fiddle with in mass that you are allowed to fiddle with, um, was actually really cool. And so, um, I learned how to make when I was a kid, I don't remember if it was my older sister, maybe my younger sister. She um, was very artsy, very creative. I could have been either of them. I don't remember who did, but somebody taught me how to make crosses out of palms. And so that's the activity that we're gonna be making um, in that I, I'll send a video of that too. Um, but it's pretty easy. Um, obviously I picked it up as a child and I'm not a very artsy crafty person, but um, they are pretty easy, but it, it drove home with a point that I um, didn't necessarily uh, consciously think about until I was a lot older um, about how those palms can so quickly become the cross and they can um, so quickly come to mean the crucifixion, right? Um, so at any rate, that's the kind of cool thing that I like about um, Palm Sunday. I didn't have any of the core team pick Palm Sunday as their favorite day, but you'll get some um, other core team videos smattered into other days as well. So um, anyway, that's the cool thing about Palm Sunday. That's kind of the activity that we'd planned and we were going to talk a little bit about um, that dichotomy. So um, anyway, yes, I hope you enjoy making the palms. Um, that video will be next. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is a different um, camera, but we're going to kind of splice all these together, hopefully. Um, so the activity that we had planned to kind of go with um, our Palm Sunday um, section was to do with actual palms um, to like make some crosses um, because the cool thing about Palm Sunday and I'm going to talk about this in another video but the cool thing is that we go well cool I guess I don't really know if that's the right word but the interesting thing is that we go from the people um, like worshiping Jesus as he's entering the city into a few days later they are telling Jesus like they're like having him be crucified um, and so um, yes, I'm going to go into that a little bit more in another video, but here's the activity first. So, um, cause we can't have real palms, obviously, um, we're going to make our own. And so I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I kind of traced first. It doesn't have to be super pretty. I'm not a good artist. Some of you, um, like Nick, some of you are really good artists. So I imagine your palms will look a lot better than mine. Um, but the important thing is to try and get like the proportions kind of right, because otherwise your crosses won't come out right. So, um, 
So yes, you kind of want to keep them kind of skinny, otherwise you won't be able to do the cross. So I already cut it out so you don't have to endure watching me cut it out. Um, so I just thought I'd show you step by step how to do it. So you're going to start with yours and you're going to fold it so that you have like um, as much on top as on bottom. So you have that little loop there. Um, so you're making that fold just like that, right? So then you have as much on top as on bottom, okay? Then you take it and you're going to fold it up until you get about halfway. Then fold it over in the back. It's actually weirdly easier with a real palm than it is with this. So you fold it over, then go around, fold, around, fold. Then you have your little cross. So um, yeah, so this is just kind of a fun activity. Um, if you want, it, when you do it with um, a palm, you kind of take the end and you like tuck it in. You just kind of wrap it in the back. Um, but if you want, you can just use some tape to do the same thing um, at home. So then you have your little cross made out of a palm. So we go from the celebration of the palm um, to the cross really quickly. Okay, that's that video.